to deploy and run software applications we need the infrastructure that is required for our application to be set up and then we will deploy the application itself on that infrastructure and we need to repeat this process across machines we want to set up for our application thanks to docker docker allows us to create images that will have our application and the infrastructure that is required as one single unit we can then launch containers from these images using the virtualization platform that docker provides so a image is a syntax that we follow to create any number of containers once we have an image we can launch any number of containers and the image is a combination of our application and the infrastructure that is required for example for a node application we need node js and the operating system itself could be linux or windows similarly for a java application this image could be a linux operating system with java on it a tomcat server and also a mysql database server on it all that information will go into a image file and then we can launch any number of similar containers from that image file before we go to the next slide and you learn more about docker let's take a look at a simple image file to run a spring boot java application so this here is a syntax provided by docker you always start with a base image here i am using java 8 as a base image this image already exists in the docker repository we will learn about docker repository or registry in the next slide so we are telling docker get me a java 8 image and by default that image will be on a linux operating system so we'll get a linux operating system on which we have java in a single line once you have that you are telling that i want to use a temp folder where all the work that i am going to do should be done and in the next two lines you are adding a jar file from your project's target directory once your project is built your jar file goes into the target directory so in this statement using the add command or add syntax from docker you are saying take this jar file on my machine on my host machine and then copy it into the docker container that i am launching as the following file once that is copied you simply tell the docker virtualization software or the docker engine run the following java command java hyphen jar and this is the name of the jar this jar was copied in the previous command for us into the container so with these four lines of code you are launching a linux container on which java is already installed for you you are copying a jar file spring boot jar file and you are running that jar file inside that container isn't that cool everything that is required for your application can be done in four simple lines and once you have this image you can launch any number of containers on any number of machines on the same machine if you want to as well let's go to the next slide where we will learn some important docker terminology docker comes with a docker hub or registry where we'll have tons of images so you can explore the docker hub for various images that are already available like java tomcat mysql node js etc all these come with a operating system for free this could be linux etc if it is a windows it will be charged eventually and docker host is the machine on which we have the docker software or docker desktop or docker virtualization software installed this could be your laptop or another machine or on cloud once you have the docker host you have the docker engine docker client is a command line utility using which we can execute commands against the docker engine for example if you say docker build it will build a particular image on your machine this image is a image that you create so before you run a container or launch a container from the image you will have to build that image and then you can also pull images from the centralized registry so the registry already have a lot of images instead of using your own image you can also pull the existing images and start using them for example you can pull the mysql image and launch a mysql container on your machine in few commands so once you pull an image that image will be stored on your docker host in a registry 
for the first time you use a image from the central docker registry it will be stored on your local as well and if that image is updated later on in the registry automatically docker will pull that image again so once you have an image you can launch any number of containers for example here we can launch a mysql container and also we can launch a tomcat container on which we run our application so these are some important components in docker the centralized docker hub or the registry where we have a lot of images that are pre created for us we can create our own images on top of these images as i have shown you already i am basing my image on which i want my application to run on this java image which already exists in the docker hub or docker registry so that will be pulled first this image will be pulled first onto my local machine into this registry and then a new image with whatever name i give will be built on top of it so docker is very lightweight it will add layers as required for us so simply remember that docker gives us a syntax using which we can create containers so first we create images using the docker syntax once we have those images we can launch any number of containers a container will have all the required software for our application to run along with the application itself and docker client is a cli that you can use from the command line to execute commands against a docker engine and that docker engine is responsible for launching containers pulling the images from the centralized repository building your images that you create locally and so on